Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Dean Leisgang. Today we're at the Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh talking about COVID-19, more commonly known as the coronavirus. Dr. Brian Temple, an infectious disease physician, sits down with us to give us some more insight and clarity on this virus. Dr. Temple, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. You know, when we talk about the coronavirus, there's certainly some fear out in the public about it and to a certain degree, some misinformation that exists as well. But can you just kind of start with the basics and overview on COVID-19? Sure. Um, thanks very much for having me here. Um, one of the things that we do need to address is that because of what we're seeing with certain cases in Wisconsin, especially in the Fond du Lac area, people are nervous. What we need to know about COVID-19 is that, yes, it's a virus, that is true. It is um, spread by respiratory or droplet measures. Basically, if someone has the disease and they're within about six feet or so of you, there's a higher chance that that's how you can spread the, the virus. Um, certain things that we need to do as individuals, including me and including everyone out there, is to try to prevent the spread of the virus. The ways to prevent the spread of the virus, number one, something your mother told you when you were little, wash your hands. And people ask, so how long is it that I should wash my hands? So we tell people, really honestly, when you look at the CDC and their recommendation, the CDC website, they're recommending at least 20 seconds to a minute of washing your hands. Some people say, uh, sing the happy birthday song. Some people have a song in their head that they sing, but they say don't sing it out loud so you don't look crazy. So um, that's one of the things that you need to do. If you feel that you're sick, stay home. If you feel that you're sick and need to go out, wear a mask. That's when we recommend people wearing a mask if you feel you have any other symptoms. Another thing that we tell people is that if you're sneezing, like we tell them all the time, cover with a napkin, sorry, or a tissue, and um, sneeze into that, discard it, and then wash your hands. So a lot of common sense issues yeah. at play here. You know, if you are sick, you kind of touched on this a little bit already, um, stay home, right? Yes. Again, it goes back to the common sense. What else would you advise? So to be honest, um, one of the, the areas of the, the people that we're looking, um, trying to protect uh, the at-risk population, which are, um, our elderly parents, um, our grandparents, and those people. Um, the thing is, we do not have a vaccine, so we cannot prevent the disease from transmitting. We know that younger kids can have it, it's just they have less symptoms. Adults up to about 70 can have it. They don't progress as bad or they don't present as bad. So one of the things we want to do is, one, stay, again, I stress, stay home wash your hands. Um, if you do have or you feel that you do have symptoms or you do have the disease, the recommendation will be to, before you show up to a medical center, is contact your doctor if you have a personal doctor and tell them these are the symptoms that I have and I am coming in for an appointment. If you've gone through that process, we say if you need to be seen, come to the emergency room to be evaluated. Um, for my facility, the only place where we're doing any testing right now is the emergency room. We talked off camera a little bit how you've been monitoring this personally for quite some time. Uh, obviously, Aurora staff as a whole have been doing that as well. You know, just kind of talk on a daily basis what you're doing here to provide that relief for the public. So, honestly, what I do personally is I, it's kind of a daily thing. I drink my coffee and I go on the CDC website and just look for updates of things that have changed. Um, work closely here with the infection prevention and she's very, very good. Um, the nurses that are here and all the physicians that are here who are also doing what they need to do. Um, Aurora from top to bottom really have what's called a workflow to try to get patients, if they have to come in, come into the hospital, have tell how things can progress where if we do have a true case going from the emergency room into the hospital, into the ICU or to the floor that's necessary. But really um, other things that we do, we try to keep up on the studies that are out there that are being published. It's rapidly changing every day. Um, CROI was one of the conferences that was just up that tried to watch some of those presentations that were done. That's kind of focused to retroviruses and HIV, but also they're talking about, um, about COVID. Uh, so these are some of the things that as a physician that we have to do 
and even daily I talk to the critical care physicians and see what's their thought, how would they approach if we have a patient that comes in and how do they present um, chest x-ray findings, etc. What would you do? Um, things also we've looked into, do we have the venture event support, which we um, as, arise as a system, ensuring that we have those things when we have critical care patients. Dr. Temple, what has the Aurora Medical Center here in Oshkosh been doing specifically? So, as we discussed earlier, Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh is really trying to ensure that we control um, the spread within our community and to ensure that if we do have patients that do present to us, we're able to address these. Um, as you know, again, um, preparing for these types of things, although we don't know the exact type of disease or problem we will deal with, there are um, drills that are done. We work closely with emergency room physicians and the emergency room team. We work closely with the infection preventionists. We work closely with the nurse with the critical care team. Um, some of the things that Aurora has done, just like we did with some of the, um, when we had flu last year, high number of flu, is really restricting the number of visitors to the hospital. So one thing we stress in again is that if you are sick and you think you're exposed to COVID-19, um, then yes, go get tested. But if you think you have the flu, have anything, and you're trying to come visit someone in the hospital, we really recommend that you stay home to avoid spreading any type of um, infection within the, the hospital and put in those that are the highest risk um, to get infected. Some of the things that Aurora um, as a system and locally has also done is um, they've actually canceled all business trips till the end of May. And other things they've done is increasing, um, we clean the hospital well, but actually targeting and being more vigilant in how we, we clean the hospital is one of the other things that we've done. Right now we're working on increasing what's called a negative pressure room space, which are the rooms that are recommended by the CDC if you do have a patient that's admitted into the hospital to try to, if we have a certain amount on increasing the number of patients. So these are just some of the things that we're doing locally. And honestly, most of that information, if you have any question regarding what's been done locally, definitely um, go to the website, the AAH.org, and that will give you a little bit more information about what we're doing here. Now, knowing that things are changing as quickly as they are, what's a great supplemental resource for people to lean on for information? So, again, you probably heard me say it a few times already. The best source for the most up-to-date information that's relevant to everyone is really the CDC website, the cdc.gov website. Another source uh, website that you can address is the Wisconsin um, State the Health Department website. And even Aurora has a, a website, aah.org. So those are some of the websites that you can look at um, and to get some up-to-date information. Outstanding. Hey, we want to thank you so much for your time and all the great information. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Now, since the information regarding the coronavirus is changing so rapidly, we suggest you visit these websites as a resource. CDC.gov, the State Health Department website, or AdvocateAurora.org. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Dean Leiskang, and we'll see you next time on Focus on Health.